We got plant mail. Move and grow. YouTube show. Hi, friends. I'm so excited. <laughs> I was on Instagram and a listener and new plant friend, Rachel, reached out to me offering to send me a very special cutting of a raffidophora that she has. A raffidophora meaning that Raffi is going to have a new cousin. Where's Raffi? Raffi's in the back. I don't know if you can see him, but Raffi is my prized raffidophora tetrasperma. Um, I got him as a cutting from a friend. I have since made cuttings and sent them. You can check my propagation tutorial that I made for Raphidophora tetrasperma a while back. And now Rachel has sent me a different type of Raphidophora. I've already forgotten the name, so I hope that she labeled the cuttings. And she said that she included some other plants in the box. So I figured it would be really fun to do an unboxing today. We're in our new house. Um, this is my meditative, planty, yoga, writing, work corner, restorative corner. And I figured no better place to shoot my first vlog than here. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, so you can't really see stuff as well as I was hoping, but say la vie. So before I dive into all of these plant cuttings, I'm so excited. I have no idea. I have no idea what the other plants are in here. Um, please be my plant friend and like this video, subscribe, and leave me a comment on which plant you like the best out of all the things she sent me. This feels kind of heavy, so I'm kind of excited, and I feel like maybe there's a bunch of plant cuttings in here. Oh my god. Okay, so she did the cutest little labels with a little... <laughs> she has a little... Um, tag on each cutting that is a pile pepperomioides and it says I will survive on the post-it note and then she has them um labeled so okay this is the one that she was talking about a raffidophora high ye so this is Raffi's cousin because Raffi is a raffidophora tetrasperma and this is a raffidophora high ye I had never even heard of this plant until she wrote me about it so I'm really excited to see what it looks like she sent me, oh my God, she sent me rooting hormone in a bag. Rooting hormone for the Ripsalis. They should be calloused by the time you get them. I usually dip the ends in powder and then put them in soil. Rachel, that's really thoughtful that you freaking sent me rooting hormone. I actually have never tried rooting hormone before. Um, oh my God, there's so many plants. <laughs> okay, so this one is the Ripsalis pilocarpa. Um... Pilocarpa, yeah, Ripsalis pilocarpa. So I guess that's the one that she's talking about that I need rooting hormone for. <laughs> Black Pagoda lipstick plant. I treat this like a Hoya. Hoya Bibliata. Oh my God, Hoyas. I want Hoyas so bad. Oh my God, Anna Monstera sold the Patana. Okay, where should we start? Okay, let's start with the OG plant. Okay, man, she did such a good job wrapping these. Okay. Okay, my little friend. Ooh, right. I Googled this really quickly, and this plant shingles up whatever it grows, and you can see that it's growing um, like flat already. So Billy and I got this really cute um, propagation station for our engagement, and I'm really excited to put it to use. It's from Anthropology for anyone who wants to know. I don't know anything about Raphidophora Hayi, so if you have one, please let me know your care instructions. I'm going to stick it in some water. It looks, it looks like she wrapped it in some, oh, it's in soil, so I should pop this up directly. Okay, good to know. So then let's leave that right here. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Okay. Next up, let's do the Black Pagoda Lipstick Plant. I've never had a lipstick plant before. She says, I treat this like a Hoya. It grows like a beast. Okay. Okay, Rachel. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. This has the... I've seen this plant before, and I really wanted it. It has the most dreamy pattern on its leaves. Oh, oh my God. It's such a big cutting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm dying for this plant. I saw this, I stayed in a planty Airbnb once and I saw a huge version of this plant and I was so mesmerized by the leaf pattern. It looks almost like a green tortoise shell. Um, like the tortoise shell pattern that you see like glasses and purses and stuff. It looks like it's the green version of it. Rachel, 
you spoil me. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Um, I've never had a lipstick plant. I've never had a goldfish plant. I've always wanted those types of plants that have like the adorable blooms. Let's see, is this one rooted? Are we putting this back in water? What are we doing on this guy? Yes, okay, so I'm gonna stick this guy in some water um, and let him root a little bit more. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, um, I'm so excited she sent me a Hoya. So Hoya Bilobata. There is on, there's an online debate about the cost of forms bilobatas, possibly Bertonii. I keep mine in a south, southeast window and let dry completely before watering. This is the only Hoya I've gotten to bloom so far, but it blooms year round. Your cuttings have a few peduncles, so hopefully you won't have to wait long. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Peduncles are, as we learned in our Hoya episode, peduncles are the thing that grows off the Hoya where the, uh, that flowers. So I don't know if she's meaning that I could potentially get a bloom. Oh my God, these are huge cuttings. This isn't like a little tiny cutting, like this is a nice little plant. Oh, look at that, look at that little peduncle. And is this a water root or is this a, I might DM her and see what she does. No, so this is not water rooted. So I'm assuming she wants me to stick it in water and let it root out a little bit. Now, she also sent me a Monstera Celtipicana. Oh my God, so dreamy. <gasps> Such little leaves too, but I've seen these plants grow very large. Oh my God, it's such a cute little cutting. Man, she should be like rare ass plants. This is really exciting. <gasps> yes, they've actually just started rooting. Oh my God, what a dream. I love that the veining on the Celtipicana is kind of silvery from afar. It's kind of, it looks like Cebu Blue a little bit as well, but that's not a Monstera. Um, and oh, it's so dreamy and I'm so excited to see these leaves get bigger and bigger and grow. I love these little test tubes. Ripsalis pilocarpa. I don't think I've seen this plant. I don't really have Ripsalis. I have one Ripsalis I inherited from a friend. I don't know much about them. Whoa, whoa, this is a huge cutting. It's like furry. Oh my God, look at that. This is a full freaking plant, holy moly. So this is what she sent the rooting hormone for and she says that she dips the ends in powder and then just pots them in soil. So I guess I'll have to pot a little pot of soil and stick these directly in. Oh my God, this is like a really healthy cutting. Well, this was a really fun day. <laughs> this was a really fun unboxing. Um, I'm so excited about this Raphidophora. I'm so excited about literally all these plants. Um, I'm gonna stick these in water, let them adjust for a few days. I might let the roots grow out a little bit before I pop them up, let them adjust to their new home, um, stick them in my grow shelf while they're propagating and I will report back once everything is potted up. So thank you, Rachel. This was really nice of you. <laughs> um, and if you guys have any of these plants, so the Ripsalis pilocarpa, Monstera celtipicana, Hoya bibloata, or the Black Pagoda, um, let me know your care instructions and how you like to take care, for the, pl take care of the plants because... I've got new plant babies to go research. <laughs> so thank you, Rachel. And until next time, sweet plant friends, keep blooming and keep growing. <laughs>